Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we have got a special one-off video, live and direct, from my very messy studio. Pay no attention to that bit behind me. That don't exist, and you don't want to see what's on the other side of my microphone over there. But what we are here for is for my first ever unboxing video. I have ordered myself a mystery box from the great lads over at After Extra Time Search. It's cost me £25, so let's see what we should be getting in this box. You can see it here, the £25 option. We should have a football top, a bit of memorabilia, a program, books, figures, cards, and apparently much, much more. I've been wanting one of these boxes for years. Finally got myself one. It arrived about half an hour ago. And so, let's just have a look at what is in, well, the bag. It's not really a box, but... Who cares? It's still some really cool stuff. So let's go and rip into it and let's see what we have got. What have we got? What's in the bag? Oh, I, I can feel the top. I can feel the top. What have we got? Do we go for the top first or do we go or do we go programs and memorabilia and all that first? Programs and memorabilia, I think. Oh, we've got, we got a magazine with David Beckham on the back. My mum will be happy. She fancies him quite a lot. So what magazine is it? 442 Battle of Manchester. Does it say when this is from? Du -du -du. November 2011. Wow. Long time ago. And so Ashley Young still playing for United back then. Sergio Aguero looking a lot younger than he does now. So that is really rather cool. And uh, Torres talking about his time at Chelsea, I'm thinking. So that's going to be a very good read later on. So I'm very much happy with that. Now, what's the next thing we've got? Into Fools Naman. This is the programme. We have, uh, It's FC... I have no idea who either of these teams are. FCK, I vaguely recognise them from FM. But my German is not the best. So FCK versus FSV Zwakau from 22nd of February 2020. So quite a new program. So I'm happy with that. I'm quite happy with that one as well. And then what have we got? We've got another program. Uh, Motherwell. Motherwell versus Sterling Albion from 1999. Wow. 20 odd years old. Them against Sterling Albion in the Tenants Scottish Cup fourth round. If we've got any Motherwell fans watching, let me know what the score was of this game. And so let's have a look inside. A lot of cool stuff. I do like old school programmes. But it reminds me of when I used to go see West Ham a lot more. And used to have these old school programmes. Not the fancy ones they are these days. And yeah, it all looks rather cool. And so what have we got next? I think it's just the top, isn't it? No, we've got a book as well. Forgot about the book. What have we got? Uh, Dugouts by David Bolcom. Where is it? There it is. And forward by Alan Kirbisley. West Ham link there for you boys and girls. And so, what is this all about? Is this just pictures? No. Is, is it? Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, it's all just it's all pictures of dugouts from around the world. And so that's really rather cool. Let's see, what have, they got? what have they got up at the back? I always like jumping to the back of books. I think it's all non-league dugouts, which is really cool because I do like non-league football. Those of you that have been following me on YouTube for a while will know that. And now, the main event of the evening. Let's have a look. What top have we got? Please don't be Arsenal. Please don't be Arsenal, Tottenham, Chelsea or Millwall. What have we got? Well, oh, there's some other little bits as well. We'll go have a look at them after. It, it, it's Rangers? Is it Rangers? It is as well. Oh, we'll see. Rangers. Belly Rangers top. Where are we? There we are. And I think I did just feel the tag. Just so you know, it is a genuine one. I did feel it somewhere. I can feel it in there, but it feels genuine. It feels really good. And so, if anyone knows what season this is from, 
please do let me know and yeah it's really cool really good quality really good everything you would pay 25 quid for this on its own so very happy with that i'm very glad it's not another london team because that would feel icky on my skin and so let's have a look what have we got here we've got a beer mat we've got a beer mat as well covert football trips international football mystery weekends mm. sounds that could be a laugh and what have we got here we've got a ticket we've got a ticket for a game Lif Linifco Rose FC versus Falkirk FC can you see that I think you can just about make that out so and that's again from 2019 so again if anyone knows what the score was of that particular game of football Please do let me know. And what else have we got? We have got... Oh, Big Ed. Oh, I used to love these when I was little. And we've got a little Sol Campbell back in his Tottenham shirt. That is a blast from the past before he turned all Judas and went to Arsenal for nothing. So that... Yeah, where is he? Can you see him? There he is. There's his face. That's really rather cool. I used to love these when I was a kid. Might have to get back into collecting them. And what else have we got? We have got, um, not quite sure what that is. And we have got uh, Football Stadium Prince. I follow them on Twitter. They do some really good stuff on Twitter. So check them out, as well as the guys here at After Extra Time. And we've got a little sticker here for sticking on the laptop or whatever. So that's rather cool. And we've got a thing here. Oh, we've got a David Moyes bloody match attack card. The one manager, if I was to start collecting these, I wouldn't want. And defence plus five, attack plus five, that's, that's being optimistic. I think attack should be minus if you ask me. But yep, that's that. Anything else? We've got another card here. We've got one Dave as a party would like if he's watching. What's his name? Uh, Kevin Foley of Wolverhampton Wanderers. Defence 50, attack 48. Again, I don't really collect these, but I'm but so if you know what that means, please do let me know. And we've got a couple set of player cards, official pro set player cards, new first division strips. Oh wow, from 1991-92. Oh wow, that is quite mad. So I've got two packs of them. You know what? Let's open these now, and then we'll call that a day. On the video. This way you're going to see how weak I am. And I can't even open these. Alright, here we go. I've got them. Okay, and so. Names would be nice. Here we go. Ian Hazel. Played for Bristol Rovers. In midfield, apparently. So, very nice. And then, I think we've got a Swindon one up next. Uh, yep, yeah, Paul Bernard. Oldham, sorry. Uh, where is it? There you go. So, yeah, I'm very, very happy with these. Have we got any West Ham ones? That would be nice. Tim Flowers. What a keeper he was back in the 90s, eh? Really like watching him play. And so, uh, have we got any West Ham ones? We've got another Wolves one. That is what we have got. We've got Wimbledon. We've got a couple of Oldham. Uh, Tony Pounder. No idea again who he is, but... Played for Bristol Rovers, born in 1966, according to this card. Any other names who I recognise? Don't think so. I don't think I'm going to go through all of them, because otherwise this video will be too long. So that's one pack of cards done. And so, last card. Let's go. What have we got? Any other names that I recognise? Or that I think you might? Lee Chapman. Why is that a name I recognise? Did, who did he play for? Where is he gone? He has just gone somewhere. Lee Chapman played for Leeds. Vaguely, vaguely recognise that name. Again, uh, again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a list of the names down below in the description. And so if any of you recognise any of the names, and if you would like any of these cards, please do let me know, and then we'll, we'll arrange getting them sent out to you. And so, Paul McGee, John Morrissey, Neil Poynton, Gary Bertles. That's a name I recognise. No idea where from, but Gary Bertles, I do recognise that name. And so, yep, that is everyone. 
And so guys, that is going to be the end of this first ever unboxing video. Hope you've enjoyed it. Hope this might have convinced one or two of you to go and get a box for yourself. Because even just for the shirt, just for the shirt itself, that is fantastic quality. So 25 quid you would pay for that easily. So yeah, go and check out the boys over After Extra Time shirts. And as, as well, if you are new, please do follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming. Subscribe to the channel for Football Manager 20 content. I've got two series going at the minute. One with Kings Lynn, where we're seven seasons in. And one with West Ham on the 0607 database, which is proving to be a lot of fun. So please do check out either of them. And I think that's everything. So thank you very, very much for watching. I shall see you next time. Arrivederci.